everyone, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com and today is starting week 3 of T25 for my 40 other lady challengers and week 4 of our squats and planks. Now since I'm not quite into 4 weeks yet of T25, I don't really want to release any results yet because, well, I'm not even done a month yet. So, what I would like to share with you today is how we are now transitioning into using weights with our squats and we're also switching our planks up a little bit by doing different moves such as side planking or reverse planking. Now remember, if you're trying to set up a squat and plank challenge for yourself or even for a group, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just have to make sure that you do it in progression. Don't start out with like the two minute plank. That's, it's, it's really hard actually. Even after working out for many years, it's still really challenging. As far as squatting, since we are in our fourth week of squatting, it definitely has gotten a lot easier. And that's why I kind of feel like I want to incorporate weights with it. Just to show myself and other women that you can be pretty stinking strong as a female and not bulk up. But right now, I'm going to share with you today's workout. On top of T25, uh, we had Total Body Circuit. Myself and all my other challengers are required to do today 30 squats using at least 10 pounds. I let them choose a medicine ball, a kettle ball, a barbell with weights, or free weights. Or, I mean, if you don't have any of those things, go grab a couple gallons of milk, grab your kid, grab whatever will equal weight so you could squat with it. So first I'm going to show you the proper way to do a squat. Now a lot of people have knee issues and I do as well. I actually have tendonitis in both my knees and I've had it ever since I was probably like 13 years old so I've had it for quite some time. It definitely has gotten better over the years especially with working out but it still flares up at times so you have to make sure that when you're squatting you're using proper form. Now for right now as you see I'm not wearing any shoes. I feel that when I do my squats and planks, having a hardwood floor, I definitely tend to slip around when doing a plank, so bare feet is the best for me. So when squatting, you want to make sure that you have your feet roughly where your shoulders are. So like right here are my shoulders, and that's where I'm going to place my feet. You can squat wide, you could do a standard squat, or you could even move your feet in. It just really depends on what the challenge is asking you to do. And I'm asking for a standard squat. So it's shoulder length apart. Now to just basically show you, I'm not going to hold any weights right now. All you do, move your feet apart, shoulder length. I like to hold a little praying mantis stance. That works for me. You could hold your hands here, you could hold your hands here, here, here. It really doesn't matter, but this is best for me for stability. And then all you do, is you want to tighten your core and then you just want to move your arms out, squat back like you're sitting in a chair. You want to make sure to put all your weight into the back of your heels. If you're putting them in the front, then you're going to feel a lot of pressure on your knees and that's when your knees are going to start to hurt. You don't want to do it that way. So just sit your butt down like you're going to sit in a chair or sit on the toilet. I mean, I don't sit on a toilet like this, but you know, sit back like you're sticking your booty out super duper far. And now I'll show you side view. Shoulder length apart again. I put my arms like this or like this. I don't know. I just put my hands however I feel comfortable when I'm getting ready to squat. And then I sit back and squat. And you can hold it, you can bounce, whatever is required in your challenge. You can do whatever really. There's no right or wrong way, like I said, when you are doing a squat challenge. So today I required my women to use at the very least 10 pounds, like I said a hundred times before. So I'm going to go grab my barbell because that's what I feel most comfortable with. And I'm probably going to put 12 pounds on it. And once you have your weights all set up, just put on a good three minute song, whatever you like, and get your squats in. So that's done. Got my heart rate up a little bit. Really wasn't that difficult, so I know for tomorrow that I could definitely add in more weights. However, I know that the number is going to be up too, so I also have to think about that. Next, I have side planking. I have to do side planks on 
each side for 30 seconds. Here we go. By the way, the plank is supposed to be 20 seconds on each side today. Sorry about that. <laughs> And that's all there is to it when it comes to side planking, modified and extended, lots with weights. I mean, it can be just as easy as that, especially if you're just starting out or if you want to add in a little something with the program that you're already doing.